Para Counseling, let's talk. Day 7 of the 30 Days Vlog Challenge and today I'm going to talk about my key takes away on the Para Counseling course that I've just completed yesterday. So then why so did I decided to take up this course? It's because I'm curious as to how a counsellor mindset is and also their way of communication. And throughout these two days, the key takeaway I have is the simple three-step strategies to always leading the conversation back to the struggles. Because most of the time, the clients will go everywhere with their answering and sometimes they may zone out also or they go out of the way to talk other stuff so as a counsellor you have to bring them back to the topic and then move on again and also the style of questioning to get their real thoughts what are they actually thinking what are their actual struggling and also to reflect their own thinking their own emotions because ultimately, they are the only one to know what they want, right? We, we wouldn't be able to help them with that. And because they are the only one to know what they really want, and then they are the only one who can tell you what are ways they can make changes. And as a para counselor, we are just a facilitator. We can't give you any solution. We can't give you any advice or any suggestions even. So this is something that is very hard for me because as a logical left brain, right? I always have a certain objective or maybe at that time, I would have certain answer to the questions or even the suggestion, but I can't voice it out. I can't tell you, hey, maybe you should do this, do that, and that can help you. I can't do that. So then I have to control myself and always asking questions to lead them to a certain solution maybe. And I also have to, you know, sort of prevent my own emotions, my own judgment into the situation. However, the most insightful of all, right, is actually the coach real life experiences. So the coach is very important because he's there to show you the real world of counseling. And the content is just content, right? It's just information, it's step one, step two, step three, step three. But how can I use it, all these steps in a real world situation? So he has a wonderful experiences that tell us a lot about, you know, when he handles this customer, what comes out and some people even like threaten him. I'm going to kill you if you you know, ask me this kind of questions so or I'm not going to bother you. And he also tells one story whereby a teenager, he has to complete this whole counselling, I think before he can get to move out of the country. So every time he come here, he just say, he, uh, he just ask, I only need to be here like for 10 minutes, right? Then I can go off doing nothing. Then my counsellor was like, oh, well, yes you can you know that kind of thing so he did that so for like three four days he has been like sitting there doing nothing or maybe some time he sleep during the whole uh conversation but one day he was curious and he started questioning why why are you you know abating to my situations and all these things so it started to make him curious and opening up so you see this kind of thing is very hard for us to learn in the book or in the content it has to come from somebody who has that experience and is able to guide us through these kind of experiences so it's really important and my honest opinion is it, it is not an easy path if you really want to venture into this industry because you have to make sure that you don't go beyond the boundaries as a counsellor and client and you cannot be too attached to the client because you have to make sure that you don't be too attached to, to be too judgment to the whole situations and of course 
really really important that you take care of your own emotions your own judgment your mindsets it has to be very healthy because if not you're going to get all the negativity emotions mindset you know after all the sessions so you have to make sure you have a routine to help you with clearing out all those mindset or you know not getting attached too much and, and all these sort of things well being say that do i think that or, or rather do i encourage others to take up for instance if you are considering i uh, definitely because if i mean even if you do not have the intention to switch a career to a counselor i believe you can still make use of certain strategies for your everyday life for like instance the start of questioning to get to the root cause without sounding like too offensive you know or being like a interrogator sort of questioning and you also have a certain style of conveying with the other party you know your expressions your tone that kind of thing so it's really very interesting and i think all this you can definitely do it with your kids as well um, but not too obvious like, because i i think if they know you took up this course then they will think this mommy Xiao must be using the counselor strategy to come and dig up my stuff you know <laughs> but anyway it's really very interesting um, of course the coach is also you know fantastic i i think i really like his style of coaching uh it's it's not really words to words pages to pages but he, he he sort of jump over the place but he will get you to understand what is this whole content is all about i think that is very important i like the way he teach actually it's more like a storytelling so then he gave me an idea that maybe this is something that i have to improvise as well you know besides just telling you this is good this is good this is good do it you know a storytelling style is really very effective so that's all for today and i'll see you tomorrow